Hey, welcome back to Silver Run here on Farming Simulator 22. We're on episode 3 and we're still in August. <laughs> well, I can't help it. It is just it's just been too much to do. There's been so much to do to get started on this playthrough. Time is just creeping by and we are making the most of the day. Now I am playing with one day month. I am not I don't have seasons on so one day months no seasons so it really doesn't matter we can just have the clock running slow and it will all work out. So I've done a lot of work since the last episode and we'll take a look at that here in just a bit. And I'm up here at the sawmill and I'm wondering what to do. Eventually, we're going to have to buy this thing if we want to get some wood products out of it. But I would also like to get some cash off of this load of lumber, of timber. So I am going to try something here. I don't know if it'll work. But I know there are some reductions that you can drop the goods off, sell it, make the money. And then when you turn around and buy the production location those goods or products are still in it for you to use so I think that's what I'm going to try we're going to try to sell the wood here and then we'll run around there and go ahead and buy the production so do we sell why are we not selling the wood do we not have a Maybe our trailer is not in the right location. Maybe we have to be a little bit closer to the water. Another thing that I do want to get, and I've been working on getting a spot put, uh, cleared out for it, is to put in the uh, smelter. I'm going to get that put in so we can start making some metal products. So we may try to get to that on this episode as well. If we can get some things cleared out because I have a mess. Well, not a mess. But I do have some timber down at the farm that I do need to get cleaned up and, and loaded up onto a trailer. So... Let's try that right there. I don't like backing that trailer down in the water. But we got to do that, I think, to get the, the logs into the unloading zone. Let's try it now. There we go. Ooh, $18,206. Very good. Now we got to get these logs to drop down. Sometimes you can get close to them. Nope, that didn't work. Let's hop in. There we go. All right, back over here to sell this other few logs. There they go, another 5400 bucks. So pretty good. I will take that. So now let's come over here. I think the production uh, buy location is right here by this door. I remember correctly seeing it. I've had to turn the help triggers off and on, just not knowing what where things are. Let's see if we get a. There we go. Buy a production plant. Now we have five hundred ninety-seven thousand. It's going to take two fifty, so that's going to be a big chunk. And how about that? Look in the uh, production menu there. Boom. So all of that wood that I brought up here, I got paid for it. And then now we have it in the in the production chain. So I don't know how fast it's going to go through this the the wood that I brought up, but 
We have more to bring. So, we're going to head on back down. And get some more logs loaded up. Now, one thing that I have noticed is this tractor is not the strongest. And it does tend to struggle some on the hills. So I think one thing that I do need to focus on, which I have a lot of things I need to focus on, but one thing I do need to focus on is getting a truck. I think it's going to be much quicker taking these loads because we are a good ways away from the farm. We're way up near the uh, north side of the map and our farm is down near the south. So it's a good little drive. Although scenic, it just takes some time, especially in this little tractor. I do like the, the new gas station that they have created for the U.S. maps. That looks very similar to some that I have seen. So I like that. So we got a good ways to go. If we take it just a peek at the map. Just to show you where we are, if you're not familiar with the map, we're up here at the sawmill. See our little arrow there coming down the road. And we've got to come all the way back down here. So it's not, it's not really, it's not really too far. <laughs> it just seems like it is when you're only going 22 miles per hour. So I think having a truck will speed up this trip and make it just a little quicker. I tell you, I do love the waters uh, or the new uh, water plants, the cattails and the uh, lily pads. They look fantastic, fantastic. Grass too, the grass looks more uh, natural to me from a uh, North American perspective. I tell you, this in my opinion, this is my opinion, best map so far. Now, yeah, it is lacking on the, the farming features. Oh, I can't go this. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I can, uh, I can cut through here, I think. It is lacking on the uh, farmlands, but... You know, they didn't they didn't say it was gonna be a farming map. They were pretty open about it being logging the whole time, so uh it's it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. So you can see that I do have quite a bit stacked up here of logs. I've got the excavator out there, I was using it to cut down the trees, which I still hadn't shown you guys. That cutter head, I do need to do that at some point. But I do have the grinder back on. I was taking out the stumps, so I think we're good as far as the stumps. So what I'm looking at doing, now we do have this flat area. I was going to open up some of it for some farmland, but one thing I need to do is put in the uh, smelting production. So I'm thinking, put it, thinking about putting it in right here in this corner. And then that will leave the rest of that area for uh, you know, farming or whatever I choose to. I do have some rocks we need to take out. But we do have some logs here. So where I'm at now, we have two things we need to do. To do. One, we need to clean this area up here. Oh, and I missed a stump there. Let me grab that while I'm seeing it. So we need to clean up the area. Get the rest of these logs up to the sawmill. And then the other thing that I need to do is think about plowing the the field of grass that I mowed. Go ahead and get that plowed and then getting it planted with something. So we got to get this done first because I do want to get the smelter up and running. Because that's going to help bring in some cash, I believe. And then now that we have the log production going, we can, with the uh, lumber production going, we can get some, hopefully, some income from that as well. I'm 
just going to move this over here out of the way. So th the problem that I have is this, as we mentioned in the last episode, this excavator with that little grapple is not great for moving a bunch of logs. And this Volvo is not great for moving a bunch of logs. Uh, th this works okay, but I can't get the logs up over the the uh, the post there on that trailer. So uh, this was the only log fork that I could get for this Volvo because there are nothing else that will fit it. At least not that I could find. So, and that was not base game. So, either I need to rent a crane type loader, or I need to just bite the bullet and go ahead and get a wheel loader with a bigger grapple on the front, then it will reach up. And I apologize, my voice seems like it's trying to go out here. So hopefully I can make it through this recording. So I don't know what to do. I've got to think about it. Um, yeah, I don't know. Problem is the, the uh, smelting building is going to take $180,000. That's not going to leave me with very much. I could lease one. But I didn't really want to lease any of the the heavy equipment. And I don't want to sell this yet because I think it'll come in handy for some other things. Oh, dilemmas, dilemmas. Well, we've got to get these logs moved. So I think what we'll do, let's just go ahead and get the wheel loader. Hopefully we have enough cash. Let's see what we have. Uh, let's hop over to the Platinum Expansion. Now I could go with something something uh, cheaper and uh, maybe some, some other mod, but I'm trying to use some of this uh, Platinum Expansion equipment. Uh, I thought about something like a, a uh, tractor with a grapple or something, but that's not going to really do what we need to do. I think what we need to do is go with that one is 304 and that one is 252. I think we'll go with the smaller one. I think it'll be okay for what we need to do with it. And let's just check out the tires. Actually, I like that first one better. Let's put our safety beacon on there. We got to be safe. We do not need a license plate. Ooh, this is really going to be a big chunk out of the cash there. So let's go back and we need to find the log clamp. We can scroll through here and find it. Now one thing I could have done is got the CSZ big bag lifter and probably could have got it on the front of this machine and used that. But I still think we may have had an issue getting the logs up high enough and over the uh, tops of the trailer. So we will just go this route. I'm not saying I won't use the big bag lifter at some point because those straps come in really handy. But we will uh, we'll give this a shot here. Now why is that tool not compatible? It said it was. Oh boy, what have I done? What have I done? Is that the one we got? Yep. Oh, it goes to the big one? Uh-oh. 
Uh oh. That's not good. Well. <laughs> I messed up there. So let me see. I think what we can do is there is another one that's very similar to it. It's not. It's not the Volvo one, but it is very similar. I think it's a Maxi. Let's see if we can get to it. Trying, I'm trying. There we go. Maxi. Oh, I don't know. Why can't we use that one? Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to stop the recording here. I'm going to do a little switcheroo. And I'm going to, I want to use that new log grapple to see how it works. So I guess what I'm going to do is we're going to return this machine. And get the other, the other, uh, the wheel loader. All right, we have got the big Volvo loader now. <laughs> I'm down to forty thousand dollars, and no income sources at this moment. We got to do some serious logging to start making up some ground. So let me go ahead and move this little fella out of the way. It is a uh, uh, that is actually a quite. A comparison. Let me pull this one over here. That is wow. Big difference. Big difference. All right, got that one moved. So now we can go ahead and load up some of this this timber. Hopefully this works good. I have not used this uh, gravel here, so I'm going to be interested to see how it works. It looks like it's going to work out really well. It looks like it's going to pull the wood to us. Let's see. And tilt it down. Let's, oh, look at that. Check that out. That is really nice. The question is... And look how well it stays in the uh, grapple. All right, let's see if we can get a couple of a couple more logs put in here. I do have that one little one there. You know what? Let me grab that one and throw it in the pile here. See if I can't get everything. Just gonna miss that little one. Oh, we got under it. Oh my goodness, look at that. That is amazing. And easy. Let's see if I can grab this one here. There we go. Let's see. There we go. Let's see if we can just shove it in. And hopefully it'll ride. It's stuck in there. There must be some kind of a collision thing that's holding those logs in. That's actually holding the the little stick there. So well, it'll maybe it'll ride. Yeah, this is. This is easy right here. The logs are getting a little loose there. Hopefully they'll make it to the trailer. Oh, we're we're not not quite centered up on that post there, and the logs are not happy. Well, I've messed this up. Uh oh. Let's see what we can do here. Hold what you got. Hold what you got. Can we lower these posts and maybe that'll help? 
Uh, how do we do that? Start the engine. I don't know what's going to happen here. Here we go. And then let's see if we can push it forward a little bit. I think some of them are going to fall uh, just out. Actually, you know what? Let's see if we can lift it up and get them, get them inside that post. Oh, they're actually hitting the tractor. That's the problem. That's the problem. Well, that is terribly ugly, but I can see where this particular uh, machine here will make loading logs extremely easy. I just need to get a different trailer, I think. Oh boy, that's a, that's a bad... That is a bad load right there. Yep. Well. We got some on there. Let's see, do we have any more little spots? No, we don't. Alright, let's get lined up on these. We'll try to get a little bit more centered. I think we must have been off on that other load. about picking it up that way. Let's see. There we go. There we go. All right. I don't know if we can get all of, all of these on the trailer, but we will give a, give it a shot. I cut these to eight meters and that's probably just too long for this trailer. What we're going to do is, oh, I've got we got timber hitting the tractor there, but let's, let's see if we can't just drive around a little bit and maybe jiggle things around and see if we can't get it to fall down. I don't know if it will or not. That It would have shattered that window. We are possibly causing more of a, a mess than I started with. That is not good. That's not good. So, what do you do when things aren't good? <laughs> you just pile more on, right? What, what could go wrong? What could go wrong? Oh, that one did not make it. That one didn't make it. Let's push that one off. There we go. Alright. I think we are loaded up. I like that front end loader. Or wheel loader. I do. Did it land on the top? It did. All right. Uh, I think this is going to end up causing us some problems. But let's see what happens. Yep, we are true. Oh boy. I may have to cut that off. Yep, I'm going to have to do something. I'm going to have to do something. I could try. Let's try something here. I've got an idea. Famous last words. 
<laughs> but I do have an idea. I think it'll work. Maybe. Alright, let's leave that right there. That'll be just enough. Just enough to... Oh, look at that. Look at that. Man with a plan. Oh, well, we still got that one there. That one may cause a problem. And I can't cut it. That's weird. But we will carry on as we are. Lift this trailer over. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Thank. Oh, no, no, no. It's gonna. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. What is going on? Alright, I don't understand what is going on here. I'm going to disconnect this trailer. That was the wrong thing to do. down here near the farm and as you may have just noticed we had a little montage of work <laughs> well that's because I had muted my mic and then forgot to take it back off mute so I had a good amount of content recorded and I didn't have any mic audio so it is what it is we're going to move on from that so since we have that we cut a lot of time out of the uh, out of the episode so what has happened we had a little snafu with the trailer we got that up there to the sawmill and got the logs unloaded we have these logs here we were going to take I'm going to wait I'm going to maybe do that off camera and the reason being is because we were going to go ahead and put in a smelting facility here but I don't have enough cash right now so we're gonna to have to wait on that uh, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and start with a little bit of field work and I do have this piece of wood here I want to put it somewhere where I can make sure it goes away so we're gonna go ahead and get a plow now I'm gonna use a modded plow this is not base game, so we're going to grab that real quick. I haven't had a chance to use this one yet. I thought this would be a perfect opportunity. Uh, this is uh, going to be a smaller equipment type playthrough as, it, as far as the uh, farming is concerned. So we're going to use some medium sized uh, equipment. Let's see, can we get a little bit wider there? Will my tractor pull it? I think it will. That may be a stretch. So we're just going to go with 15 shank. I'll go ahead and buy that. So we're still cutting into the cash 
as we go. So I was really hoping to get the uh, smelting plant in. I, I really, really probably should have leased that wheel loader or done something different. But we have it now. Hopefully it will come in handy in the long run. This may take us a little bit longer to get there. So we'll ease around over here to the farm. Now once we do get uh, that smelting uh, plant put in, I'm going to go ahead and make a little field over there as well. And we'll reposition where we are doing the lumber work. And as a matter of fact, I would love to go ahead and bring the field over to this pond if we can. So we'll have to see what we can do there. Yeah, this this episode has been uh, it has been difficult. Now that is we oh shoot. So I'll be a uh, hundred percent transparent. Um, <laughs> so this is not blanketed, and it does look a little more level. Well, what happened? Let me go ahead and blanket. Can I not blanket it? What has happened? Oh no, it's ninety nine percent something well here's what happened after the last episode I had not saved and I moved the excavator back over to the uh, to the logging area there we go 100% and when I did that I wasn't paying attention and I accidentally ran into the trailer like big time ran into the trailer and knocked half the locks off of the trailer so I uh, see so, you know I did not want to go picking that mess back up of course I should have because that would have been quicker because I didn't really know how long it had been since I had saved it well it had been since before I started picking up all of this grass and so I had to do it again so I put the uh, grass back in, repacked it with excavator, and that's why that was messed up there. So full transparency, not trying to hide anything. I messed up, so I had to redo it again, and that's that. Wow, it's dusty. Holy cow. Let's adjust that a little bit. Well, that's just dusty no matter how you look at it so we'll just we'll leave the uh, dusty lands mod turned down so my my plan is to get this field plowed and then we will get it to probably have to lime it fertilize it and then seed it with something I don't know if I want to plant a crop just yet that we have to get a harvester because that'll be another expense so I'm I'm actually tempted to maybe do another round of grass and then either potentially make more silage if that silage has fermented by then we can get it unloaded and get the uh, new grass in or maybe we'll make some hay with it I'm not real sure I think I want to do that and then maybe uh, maybe the next time or maybe maybe we'll do two rounds of grass I don't know let's see and then then start looking at planting some crops now we're not going to need a big harvester on this playthrough obviously we just won't it's just not that big of a field uh, so it may be that we could grab something like a little bison or something and that may be cheap enough that I can plant a crop and not have to have a huge expenditure with the combine so that's where we are uh, this this uh, like I said this episode got hijacked by mayhem <laughs> lost some audio had some snafus with the logging so it has been difficult been difficult but we've made it through and we are moving 
ahead it appears. Hopefully uh, nothing else goes wrong. So once we get this field uh, cut out, uh, the helper should actually be able to work on it. Course play, things like that. We can use uh, some helpers to do a little bit of our work. And then that way I can focus a little bit more on uh, the logging part, lane clearing. And I'm actually going to leave a little uh, section right here beside this uh, bunker so that we can maybe drive beside it if we want to and then let's bring it back around very good very good so we got a little bit of plowing ahead of us so I'm going to go ahead and work on that. I'm not sure how long this episode will end up being because of the uh, the issue. A lot of the content I had, I'm probably just going to put in a little montage with some music. So uh, this could end up being a shorter episode than we have been having. But if it is, that's just what we're going to do. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and knock the rest of this plowing out off camera. I'm going to go ahead and clean up the rest of those logs. Either take them up to the sawmill or maybe just move them out of the way. And that way we can open up that area. And then uh, next episode we need to get some seed in the ground. Some lime out. Actually let's check and see if we even need lime. I'm assuming we do. But we may not. We do. So we need lime. And uh, I actually have stones on because I was not sure if you turn stones off how that would affect those boulder, the boulders and the boulder mission missions. So I left stones on. I didn't didn't know what to do there. So uh, these are small. They'll get turned back into the soil, pushed back into the soil with the cedar. So I'm not too worried about it. Or worst case, we can run a roller over it. So uh, yeah, we'll get some lime out. And then we'll look at putting some seed in the ground. And then we will continue our forestry work. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please click the thumbs up button. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that. Make sure you click the bell so you're notified of uh, all content. We'll see you next time.